everyone, I'm Amanda from Manny Lynn Plans. Welcome back to my channel for my August flip through. Here is a look at how the monthly spread turned out. Lots of color, lots of events, lots going on for the first weeks of school. I am a teacher, I do teach part time, and so the craziness of the beginning of the school year definitely showed in my planner this month. So then taking a look at my August weekly spreads, this was just a couple of weeks after having my daughter, and so I was still tracking, and I still am, her feedings and diapers. Um, this is the way that I used to do it with these full um, stickers, or not stickers, stencils, um, the icons and things. I have toned this down a little bit. You will see in this week, this was the first week I started doing the squares instead of the big fork and spoon and um, smiley faces for diapers. And I filled in the squares here, but then I think it was this week, yes, that I just left them empty and I like that a lot more. It's funny because you find something that works for you, you think, and then it changes and then it changes again. And that's the beauty of planning, I think, is that we can look back over and see how much our interests and the things that we like change throughout sometimes the month or over the course of six months or a year if you have the full um, planner. And so it's really fun, I think, to just see how our planning style changes over time. So this is the week that we are currently in as I am filming this. I still have some more to add in for feedings as I am filming this on Sunday. And then we flip to the daily pages where I use this as a bullet journal. So here I used the items that were in the Boho Berry box as my kind of hello and to help me with the theme throughout the month. I did use this um, hot balloon washi. I loved it. I thought it was so cute. And look at me go. I actually did my mood tracker and one line a day. I didn't always come in every single day. And to be honest, today as I was Flipping back, I did fill in several, but I remembered things that happened and how I was feeling on that day. And so I can say that I have completed this. I do not think that I will probably keep a mood tracker for this next month. I think I'll take a month off at least, but I did love this one line a day. So I am going to be carrying that on in my September spread. Here I just had some to-dos, YouTube videos I wanted to film, a back to school list, and then we get into daily pages. So here I was doing the daily labels that I carry in the shop. And then I took a break from those and just used the pens that came in my Boho Berry box and I really, really love the way that this looks. So I think that I'm gonna um, go back and do another one of these for September. And then I just have some notes from our in-service and then a week of to-dos and I also really love the simplicity of this spread so I think I'll probably try and do that again as well. And then this is whenever my daily planning kind of start started to fall a little less frequent. So this was the first week of school and I had a lot going on and I think this was the time that I also re, um, I added a coil to my Hobonichi and so I was using that to do my to-do lists downstairs um, while I'm in my office. And so this kind of fell, um, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to continue planning in this section. I do know that I want to. I just need to kind of figure it out with the addition of that. This was where I was putting like all of my to-dos that I wanted to do for the day. And since adding that other planner, I just, I just have to figure it out. So then I have this super simple one again, and then um, just a brain dump. I have a couple of exciting things coming up in the month of September, and I just needed a spot to put a lot of information down and just get it off my mind so that I can focus on other things. So that is the end of my August in my bullet journal. So I really didn't have a ton. So it's definitely interesting to flip back through and see how things change from month to month, as I was saying before. So I'm excited for September. Go ahead and let me know what you are going to be doing the same in your bullet journal or planner and maybe how you are mixing it up for the month of September. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.